Hello, I'm Jose Botero. Welcome to Arts 57, where today we're going to be painting the Red Country House. I'll be using 90 pound Windsor and Newton paper and we'll be painting with Mission Gold watercolor paints that I have put into a metal watercolor palette. Life in the country can be very tranquil and pleasant. The front porches and the closed lines are reminders that the mechanized world is far away. For this particular painting, I decided to use some masking fluid in order to preserve some of the areas that I will painting in a lighter tone later on. What I am using to apply the fluid is not a regular brush, but a specialty brush with a felt tip. Regular brushes would clog up because masking fluid is like glue that dries quickly. It is hard to control the blobs that fall from the brush even with the felt tip. There is a new gizmo that has a long needle that you can use to apply the masking fluid. It seems like a very good option, but one that I have not tried yet. I guess I can put it on my list for the next trip to the art store. Blocking in is the process of filling the paper with color. When you're painting with oils, you can fill the canvas quickly with flat colors. In watercolors, it's a little bit different because when you're painting wet into wet, you cannot move from one place to another until you have finished that wash, as in this case of the sky. You want to finish the sky before you proceed with the trees and whatever else. But the principles still apply. You can fill the paper quickly before you start in on the details. I was recently wa watching a video on YouTube showing a class that was being taught by Alvaro Castañet. He was doing a demonstration and someone came from behind him and started to take a picture of the painting. Alvaro turned to the person and asked them not to take a picture while the painting was still in progress. I can understand exactly why. If the person goes home and all he has is a photograph of a painting that's still in progress, the picture may look awful and certainly incomplete. My wife used to come into my studio when my paintings were in progress and just ask me, what are you painting? I knew by her tone that she couldn't see what I saw. There is a big difference between the blocking stage and a final painting. If you are doing a demonstration, you may want to take photographs of each stage of the painting. However, nowadays, people don't use photographs as much since all of our telephones has video, have video capabilities and we can just film the whole process. When computers first became popular and accessible, my wife and I bought a Commodore computer. It didn't even have a hard drive. If I remember correctly, it had two floppy drives, and that in itself was a luxury. I was still young and just out of college, where I had learned to program computers using basic language. So I created a program in basic that could go into a matrix of elements and do combinations at random. The output would print out for me 10 different combinations based on the typical subject matter I used in my paintings. For instance, it would tell me to paint a country house, a water well, and use comparative size perspective. Then I would try to compose the painting using those three elements. The subject matter had to be picked from certain groups that would be considered the main subject matter, another group would represent the type of perspective to use, and the last group would be the peripheral subject matter just to add interest. I wish I still remember how to create the program, but I have plenty, plenty of subject matter to last me through eternity. I did that exercise to force myself to use my imagination. Before that time, even though I traveled through the countryside and took my own photographs, 
and tried to compose the photographs as artistically as possible. As an artist, I was pretty much limited to copy what I saw in the photograph. In one of the first star shows that I did, I met an artist whose work I liked, and I bought one of her paintings. It was a painting of a musician playing in the street with doves around him and an old street light behind him. I asked the girl about where she had found that scene. Her answer surprised me. She said she had put the elements together and created the scene. That was a new revelation for me as a young artist. Perhaps that was the main reason I bought the painting. Perhaps that was the main reason I developed the program that I just told you about. So, as Peter Pan and Barney the Dinosaur used to say, Use your imagination.
thank you for watching Arts57.com. We appreciate your visit. If you found this tutorial helpful, please subscribe to our channel now. Ring the bell to stay informed of future uploads. Don't forget to like the video and comment below if you have questions. Until next time.